In the next couple videos, we're going to be looking at this liquid crystal display. Uh, it has 16 pins, uh, not all of which are we are using. Uh, it has, um, oh, I said, so, yeah, 16 pins and 16 characters per line, two lines. And uh, we're going to be hooking up to different microcontrollers. And as you can see, it takes a quite a few, quite a few wires if you're going to hook this directly to an Arduino, such as this one here. But uh, we'd like to get that number down. Uh, so first we're going to look at wiring it up like this. Uh, but then we're going to look at other options, especially when working with uh, smaller microcontrollers that may not have as many pins, just to simplify stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and look at hooking it up with wires directly to, or in this case I'm using a breadboard, but without any modules in between the screen and our microcontroller. Now if you check out the links in the description, there's a link to a GitHub page where I'm posting all my codes for all my hardware tutorials. And in there you will find an Arduino folder and an ESP folder. And in there you'll find a uh, liquid crystal display folder with some examples. Now these are basically the examples that you'll find from uh, the Arduino website with some changes. Um, so the website you can get the tutorial I'm basing this off of is arduino.cc forward slash en forward slash tutorial with a capital T forward slash liquid crystal display with a capital L capital C capital S and that link is in the code. The biggest change I made is uh, changing these pin numbers. So the default code won't work the way we have this uh, board hooked up. And uh, I hooked this up according to a tutorial from Adafruit, or Adafruit, or however you say it. I say Adafruit. Um, that's her name, so however she says her name, I guess. Um, but in that tutorial, I hooked it up like this. And the only thing I changed in this code to get it functioning is, uh, is these LCD uh, pin numbers. So this is uh, the um, project set up from the default Arduino website, and this did not work for my particular screen. And so again, that's why I had to change the pin numbers. Okay, so this is gonna be a quick overview of the wiring. Um, just make the video quick. Check out the links in the description. There should be links to detailed uh, setup of this. And again, uh, I haven't done it yet, but I was reading about a module that uh, will get rid of most of this wiring and add maybe a dollar to your project, which I suggest doing this once with the wiring, just so you can appreciate not having to do that if you don't have to. So what you'll need for this is, uh, you know, a LCD screen, an Arduino, a breadboard, and a 10K uh, potentiometer here. Potentiometer is to adjust the brightness of the screen. So. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to be hooking up power, uh, the 5 volt and ground, to the rails on your breadboard here. Okay, so next, let me go ahead and pull this screen off of here. Boop. And mine's labeled on the back, pin 16 is over here, pin 1 is over there, just for a reference, okay? So when I flip it over, pin 16 is going to be all the way to the right. Now also notice, but I kind of have this. Let's try not to break any of my pins here. Okay. Uh, and let's see if that's all lined up right. And what happens if I there I go restart my Arduino? Okay. Um, what was I about to say? Okay, so you get your potentiometer. Uh, 16's always right. Oh, I was gonna say, first time I started to set this up, I put the screen up over here. And that didn't really give me room for my potentiometer. I could put it down over here, but the screen was in the way. And you kind of need, at least with the one I have, uh, you need a screwdriver to get to it. There's some that face up and some that have knobs, so that wouldn't be much of an issue. But I purposely put it down the far right uh, bottom of my breadboard here, so it's out of the way of the potentiometer. Uh, okay, so you have your 5 volt and ground going to the rails on your um, breadboard here. Pin 16 is going to be connected to ground, so the far right one here on this uh, model of screen. And so that's ground, and pin 15 is your 5 volt. Once you plug that in, you should see the backlight on your uh, screen light up. Uh, next, we're going to hook up the potentiometer. You're going to have one side going to 5 volt, and one side going to ground, and then the center one is going to go over here to pin 3. 
on your LCD screen. Now at this point, whether you have a knob or a screwdriver one, you should be able to, now you won't have the words on your screen yet, but you should be able to turn that and adjust the brightness of the characters on the screen. And that's what that is for. Okay, so now pin one on the LCD screen is going to hook to ground as well, and pin two is going to hook to five volt. Um, and actually, uh, that's when you uh, can turn the knob to get the uh, screen to brightness control. Uh, and I am looking at notes here just to make sure I say everything right. <laughs> okay. So, pin number four on the screen is going to go to digital pin number seven on your Arduino. Pin number six is going, going to go to digital eight on your Arduino. Pin 14, so now we're jumping over this way, so the third one from the right is going to go to pin 12 on your Arduino. Uh, pins 13, 12, and 11 on the screen are going to go to 11, 10, and 9 on your Arduino. And that is pretty much it. So at this point you can load up some code. Uh, again, there should be a link in the description to my GitHub page where I have it. And again, uh, from the Arduino site, we wired it a little different, so the pins are different, but my code is set up to wire like this, which is from the directions on the uh, Adafruit uh, website. And at that point, you can start loading up code. Now, again, I haven't done it yet, but I'm pretty sure a module I ordered in the mail, uh, which costs probably about a dollar, uh, pretty much takes care of all this wiring for you. Uh, adds a small piece of uh, electronics to this, but then you only need a couple of uh, pins to control the screen here. Haven't done it yet, uh, but subscribe. Be sure to watch my videos in the coming weeks as we look over this, because um, this uses a lot of wires, and I hate that. Uh, <laughs> obviously, you could design your own board uh, to take care of all this wiring, but uh, we'll see how that works out. And we're also going to uh, see if we can get this, and we should be able to get this screen running on an ESP8266 board, uh, which means uh, we're going to be using a, if you follow my videos, a little uh, board, a little microcontroller that costs anywhere from 2 to $4, depending on what model you get, that has Wi-Fi built in, so we can have, uh, we can send messages to this screen that way, or we can have the module grab things. So let's say you want this to display the weather. You can have the module every so often check the internet and get the weather for different locations displayed on there. So that's the sort of thing we're going to be working on in the coming weeks. So be sure to uh, subscribe so you don't miss any of that. If you like these videos, and I know this one's kind of a, a brief overview, it wasn't as detailed because one, there's a link to uh, all the information in the description below, but I just kind of wanted to go over it visually for you here. But I hopefully won't be having to do this wiring setup in the future, which is kind of what I'm getting at. But I suggest, again, doing this just so you can appreciate not having to do it uh, once you uh, find another way. I uh, thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. I don't know if you can see that in the camera there. Um, there's a link in the description. That's Chris the K. There you can search through all my videos from both my channels. And uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Thanks for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.